You have been searching the whole internet for the perfect mid-journey prompt. There is a way to create images with mid-journey without even having to type a single word. Using emojis, you can get some crazy looking images. They are not always perfect, but you're gonna get some super creative art just by adding a couple of emojis in the prompt box. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to do it. I'm here in Discord in my server where I have Midjourney, and the secret to this new way of making prompts is emojis. It's as simple as that. So you go to the right to the little emoticon, click on that, and here on the left you have all different kinds. And Midjourney can actually create prompts by just using emojis. It's something that is so easy to use and you can get crazy results with, without having to type very long and abstract prompts. So we're just gonna start with one emoji and see how it looks. Just like normal, I will start with slash imagine. So I have slash imagine and then I go to the right. You know, I'm gonna go for penguin. Let's see what it does. So I have just slash imagine and it's only a penguin emoji inside there. And like this, we don't have to type a very long prompt of what we want the penguin to do. We're kind of gonna get surprised by mid journey, what mid journey thinks that we want to see from a penguin emoji. And we got four little penguins. It's all babies. So I think Midjourney thinks the penguin emoji will be for a baby, but they're looking good. And they are not all the same. They're in some different styles. This one looks a bit like a drawing. This one has the nice water splashes going around. So with just one emoji, we created four images of a penguin in different styles, but we are gonna take it a step further. And next step is combine two emojis. And we're gonna go again for the penguin because I think that's a nice one to start. And together with the penguin, I have my pizza right here. I'm gonna add the pizza. So we're gonna make a penguin pizza. I don't know what Mid Journey is gonna do. I'm very curious. The nice thing of using emojis as a way of creating prompts is that you're doing things that you normally don't think of in your brain. Because I go through the emojis and suddenly see a penguin and a pizza next to each other. And I would have never thought in my head to add those together in an actual prompt. So while that is loading, I will just take another look. So we have all the faces, of course, that we can use, all the arms, but we have other things. We have roller skates, football, fencer, basketball. We have a lot of sports that we can also use. Now the penguin and the pizza is ready. Let's see. Okay, and it kind of messed up the animal. So here we have a polar bear. This is a bird. Here we have a panther or tiger, and here we have a penguin. And this doesn't seem to be a real pizza. So it doesn't work perfect each time, but we can mix it up and try it another way. So this time we're gonna do it again, slash imagine. And we're gonna go for two emojis again. I'm not gonna do an animal or anything. I'm gonna do a rainbow. I'm in the weather vibe. So with the rainbow, I'm gonna add the tornado. So now we have rainbow tornado. And let's take a look. So we have some very artsy creations. I don't know how I could have gotten these images if I didn't use emojis for the prompt, but we didn't get the tornado. But here we got really a cloud with a lot of rainbow going on and the half mouth. So we're getting some very artsy creations. We're gonna take it a step further and going for three emojis and see how that looks. There's so much to choose that it's hard to see what you actually want. I'm gonna do a police agent, a coconut. So maybe the police agent will eat a coconut. And we're gonna get, add something else, a car. So I'm very curious if we're gonna get the police agent eating a coconut inside the police car. Okay, it's loaded. Here we have our police agent with a car. Here we just have a car. Now I don't know what this is, and this is just a person also next to a car. Midjourney is surprising me right now with the images it's creating. I wouldn't have thought of adding these things together and getting something that looks like this. So it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go crazy and add four emojis this time. You know what? I'm gonna do some things that are more together. I'm gonna add some money. So I have money, diamond and bag of money. Maybe I'm just gonna add one person, a super happy person smiling very hard because that person has all the money. So he should be very happy. So actually the emoji that I used is the green emoji, not the smiling emoji. So it's gonna look a bit different. We got actually some good ones. We got a person setting fire to his own dollars. This one also, this person looks really mad. And here we really got a box full with gold and money. It's looking pretty good. 
You can use emojis and get some crazy results, but you can take it also a step further and use another tool to mix it together. The link to this tool I will put in the description. And this is a place where you can get a lot of inspiration on different styles, different subjects, different arts. Here in the bottom, I can go to styles and you see all different options that you can choose. You can choose themes, design styles, digital, drawing and art mediums. So I'm gonna go for digital. And you see they have a lot of different options where I can go through and really see the different styles that are there. I can go to digital styles. And here you just see what happens if you add something to a prompt. Cyberdelic looks super cool with a lot of colors going on. I'm gonna go for that one. And I would like to see Cyberdelic and maybe a pineapple. I go here to fruit, I have a pineapple and I'm gonna add the watermelon. And in the end, I will add Cyberdelic. So right here, the pineapple, watermelon, Cyberdelic is finished. Let's see how it looks. And it's looking very nice. So here you can see the style. It was supposed to be something like this. And it is the very colorful style. And here, I try it one more time, but just add a comma between the emojis and Cyberdelic to see if that gives a different result. It is loaded now, the pineapple, watermelon, and Cyberdelic with the commas. And it's looking good. So the watermelon is kind of lacking here. The pineapple really strong and you have the nice colors going on. And like this is just so easy to mix and match, add some emojis, add a certain style and you get some images that you normally wouldn't get. I'm gonna try one more just to see how crazy we can get. I'm only gonna choose a lightning style because that can really make a difference to your image. And I like the backlight, this gives a nice effect. So you see that it was really coming from the back. Backlight, so here I have the dancer and I'm just gonna do backlight and dancer. See if we can get the dancer that has this nice effect with the light coming from the back. And you know, just to finish it off, we're gonna do something crazy and add five or six emojis all together and see what comes out. I'm super curious if anything comes through. This might be a step too far, but let's mix together some of the emojis I already used before. So we are gonna go for pizza. The penguin has to go back. Gonna add the pineapple, maybe a rainbow, the diamond, why not? And the car. So now we're really going crazy. You have our pizza, penguin, pineapple, rainbow, diamond, car prompt. Let's press enter. This has to be too much for mid journey, right? This is too much. But let's check this one, backlight and the dancer. So we really got the backlight effect and mid journey didn't really show us that it was a dancer, but it can be a dancer, right? This could really well be one that is on the podium and standing there. And I just want to try out a couple more combinations because it's so fun to use. Person, cold, a rollerblade. So maybe this is a cold person on a rollerblade. And here we have our mix of a lot of things together. So the first one is the pizza. And you can see the pizza is the most important because the pizza is everywhere. What was the next one? The penguin. We don't see any penguin here, but somehow it put a bird instead of the penguin here. Then we have our pineapple. And the pineapple for sure is there. And you see it here in the background. So this really came true. There you have the rainbow, which you really see as well. The rainbow is there. And the gem and the red car have just been too much for this image. So maybe limit it with four emojis, even though you can get some crazy looking images. The gold face and roller skate was a bit hard for mid journey. We didn't get something that is nice. So I'm gonna try something else. I like the animals. The animals is something that is doing well. So I'm gonna go for a tiger. We want on a rare place. I'm gonna do tiger and scooter. And I think just seeing all the emojis on the right and seeing, ah, this could be good with that one. And it's just a fun new way to create prompts and change it up a little bit by adding emojis into your prompt. I didn't get any scooter here with the tiger scooter emoji, but I got four very different looking images of a tiger. That's the power of using the emojis. You can use one emoji and you get four very different style images that you normally wouldn't have gotten, except if you really knew what you wanted. So again, if you want to create something simple or do something very abstract, go crazy with the emojis and Mid Journey will give you something that you wouldn't expect at all. In another video I recently made, I show how you can create super realistic photos in Mid Journey that look like they really got taken by a real person. It is super easy to do and you can watch that video right here or in the description. And otherwise, please subscribe so you don't miss any AI videos.